Hey everybody, this is Don over at Johnny's Used Cars. Voted the best place to buy a car in Okinawa by the military community of Okinawa for the second consecutive year. That's right, we, were, uh, we won last year in 2023 and we kept the title here for the repeat in 2024. Stop by, we'll show you why like we have many, many others. Today I'm showing this 2014 Toyota Spade that just came in. It's got 98,000 kilometers on it, which is about 61,000 miles. Before I get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on the lot discounts. So the price you're seeing on the website right now will not be the final price when you come on the lot. Also, if you're arriving at Okinawa soon, or just arrived, please make sure you stop by Johnny's Used Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get yourself a driver's license, there are benefits of doing it that way. So with that, let's have a look around. I'll show the features inside. But first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos, gonna answer a lot of your questions. Things like the JCI, the warranty, the road tax. I cover all that and more, so please bear with me till the end, you have all the answers. If not, please contact me or stop on by. This Toyota Spade is a five passenger vehicle in the 500 series category, so the mid-size category. Road tax per year is gonna be 7,500 yen, which is about uh, $50 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May time frame. So we're gonna take care of the 2024 road tax for you. You won't have to worry about that till next April or May. Now I do have two ways to pay for this. First one being US dollars cash outright, which could get you a larger discount. Or take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put something down, reduce your overall monthly payments, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do have, some do more, up to you. Before I go inside, I was like showing you the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit this way. If it rains, it's not gonna get wet inside. More important feature benefit is, it's gonna give you that cross ventilation, get that extremely hot air out as I'm feeling right now. And always get yourself a good windshield visor. You gotta keep that dash as cool as possible. So in addition to that, you may consider buying a dash cover, or if you wanna keep it simple, buy yourself a larger bath towel or beach towel, lighter in color and drape that across, okay? Let's jump on inside. Like I said, it's just coming in. It's gonna be a little dirty, but it's actually pretty clean, like most of our cars coming in. All right, now if it has this little metal plate there, you wanna keep that in a safe place because it's gonna help you replace this uh, key fob if you lose it, but don't lose it, they get expensive. All right, uh, foot on the brake, it is a push start. You're gonna push that one time and it goes. Let's sneak this in here. Oops. Turn that radio off, sorry, Troy. 97,889 on the odometer. I'll show you a couple of uh, warning lights. Let's start off to the left side. Uh, that green one there, that is your temperature gauge. So it'll be green when the engine's cool, it's gonna remain on, that's normal. It's gonna go away when the engine warms up, that's normal. And then it's gonna be red if it's overheating. Be on the lookout for that, that's not normal. The one next to it is your uh, seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts, they do give tickets on and off base. And the one to the right of that is your emergency brake. This one's a kick tight, so when you kick it, disengage, it goes away. Kick it again, engages, comes right back on. Other than that, very simple, straightforward uh, instrument cluster. However, it's not straight ahead, it's off to the uh, center. Anything pops up on the dash while you're driving, especially if it's red, please pull over immediately, find out what it is, take the necessary action. In front of the steering wheel, you have this little compartment for storage, okay, and it'll give you uh, a mirror there as well. Then in the middle here, you have your uh, radio. This one does have a rear camera. Your shifter, air conditioning controls, power outlet, cup holders. Uh, then off to the left, it doesn't have your traditional glove box. It has another compartment on, on top of the dash. And then a little bit of, uh, or I'm sorry, uh, you have a cup holder on the left side and then a little bit of storage and cup holder on the right side. That is your passenger space over there. I'm going to give you a little asterisk. Uh, I'm going to get to this uh, in a couple minutes. And then you do have your red road flare hanging out over there. Then this is the space I have on my side. The seat is all the way back, but not all the way down. Hold on. thought I was kind of high. All right. Seats all the way back, all the way down. I am uh, 5'11", as everybody loves knowing. I could drive as is or uh, still slide us up a few inches and still be comfortable driving. Um, it does have an armrest as well. I've been doing really good with the armrests. All right, let's go eye level. That's my eye level. Really can't see the pass the windshield wipers like on most vehicles. All the way back. Now, I normally take this time to show you the auction sheet, showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind. Graded non-accident from the auctions up in mainland. All these other dealers out here can't tell you that on all their cars. We can for each one. But because it just came in, I keep those inside the office until it's been detailed. Once detailed, I'm going to put it up here on the sun visor, on the driver's side, so you can see that for yourself. We'll help you decipher it if need be. And there are dealers out here that will try to discredit the auction sheet. Stop by, we'll explain why. All right, let's show you a couple other things before we go to the back, uh, back seat. So on the right side, next to the push start, you do have your mirror controls. Underneath that, you have a power sliding door. 
The button's right over here, uh, you, uh, and that'll slide all the way open. And you do have an option of keeping it on or turning it off. And I believe this is traction control, don't hold me to that. And this guy hanging out right there, that's your ETC reader. That's your electronic toll collector. This works like Easy Pass in the States if you're able to get the card for it for the expressway. Then underneath that, you have your hood release. And please don't forget, on the floor here, you have your gas cover release. On the door panel, you have your door lock and window controls right here. To turn it off, your foot does not have to be on a brake. You're just going to push this one time, and it turns off. Let's go to the back here. All right. All right, so with the seat all the way back, all the way down, I'm a good uh, five, six inches away from the back seat to my knees. Uh, this one does have a little compartment for storage or a little pocket for storage, I shouldn't say compartment. So you put yourself in there, you zipper it, and then it's kind of like a grab and go. I'm not a big fan of this. I don't, I don't understand this part, but. but then you do have a grocery bag hook. What is that? Up to three kilograms, which is about six and a half pounds. And then nothing on the back of the seat, but you do have a cup holder and storage over here. If you have a smaller umbrella that goes there and a little bit of storage and cu uh, cup holder on the door panel over on this side. All right. I'm going to do the 160, walk all the way around. So you have this deep pocket trunk back here. And then if you need to um, put this down, you're going to lift this up and it does go down. And then there is a button here. You push that in and you can put this up. And then as you bring it down, you're able to recline it. Okay. Whatever you need it for. Now this one. You got the big sliding door. All you're going to do is uh, pull that, hold it up uh, for a second. Now I said here's the asterisk for the leg room over here. Now, there is a bar underneath here. Look at that. You go all the way back. All right. So a huge amount of uh, space. I'm probably about uh, a couple inches, maybe two inches away from my feet to the, uh, to the front. Yeah, I could uh, put my feet forward and touch it, but uh, just a huge amount of space. Okay. And that was the asterisk. So you do have uh, the handle here. There is a button up here for uh, the door. And I already showed you that one. So a few different ways to open and close that door. Let's go to the front here. Sorry, the engine compartment. They're gonna wrap this video up. All right, there you have it. Uh, 1.5 liter engine, which will be cleaned during the detailing process. So there you go, 2014 Toyota Spade. Approaching 98,000 kilometers, which is again, about 61,000 miles. Military prices down at 5,600. With additional military discount, we're going to down at 5,400. Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy about on the lot discounts, and you will get a lower price on this. For now, the 5,400 will include a two-year JCI, the one-year bumper-to-bumper full warranty, the 2024 road tax, and the 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top will be the American insurance requirement. Whether you're going liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Touching on these warranties real quick, yes, there are two-year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread, so don't be fooled by them. Stop by, we'll explain why. But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealers, see what they have, check out the condition, mileage, and pricing of their vehicles, then stop by Johnny's Used Cars at a show we have, what our program's all about, and how we're going to assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. It's one of the many reasons why we did win the Stars and Stripes, Best Pacific Magazines, Best Place to Buy a Car, and Okinawa Award for the second consecutive year. Again, stop by, we'll show you why. Don't forget two ways to pay for it, US dollars cash out rate, or take advantage of zero percent financing for 24 months. Either way, we're good to go. Please like and subscribe, and as always, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.